The moment of commitment, the world will conspire to assist you. Mm. And it's true. Mm. Before Vape, BBC, and Supreme, there was Walker Rare. The 90s was a compelling time for a rap and hip hop and a vigorous time for fashion. For the first time, streetwear had propelled to the forefront and hip hop culture emerged. Today we sit with the legendary April Walker who took an idea from cool and comfortable clothing and birthed the billion dollar industry. People don't know, we started in like 87. Down the block, we had a shop called Fashion in Effect. And we used to have a lot of people come in Fashion in Effect and ask for just us to make everything because there was nothing for the culture at that time. So we would make like airbrush, like this jacket, airbrush jackets, and we would make velour sweatsuits, leather sweatsuits, sequins, gowns, everything. And just like fresh to death. What happened was Shinehead, Shaggy, um, Audio 2, Biggie, he was Biggie Smalls then. Um, they all started coming in my shop and saying, I need you to make that. I need you to make me a velour. I need you. To, I'm doing an album cover. So from there, I started saying, wow, the people want this, you know, in a big way. And I started with like one T-shirt, one baseball cap, one sweatsuit, and one jean suit called my rough and rugged suit. And it hooked right up with your Tim's. And I went and I took that and I went to this little show. It was at the Jacob Javits. It was actually a big show at that time. It was called the Namsby Show. But I did that show and what happened was I invited Simons, Dr. J's, Mary Go Round, um, just a lot of like 10 buyers and they all came and bought. And that's how Waffle started. <laughs> How was your experience as a female and a black female designer coming up in a mostly male dominated or aristocratic industry? It was not easy. You know, um, it's, it's a man's world, but you know, I think the important thing with anything is not to think about being a woman, but just thinking about being the best, you know, mm -hmm. because if you focus on that, they're gonna have to respect you. And so that that was really where I kept it. I wanted to be better than everybody so you couldn't deny me and make sure, as long as you got flavor, people gonna find flavor. The spirit of entrepreneurship was really on the rise because hip hop was really becoming commercially viable in the 80s. In hip hop, we wanted to do things differently. So we didn't want what everybody else had. And, um, and a lot of the fits weren't for us, you know? So I wanted to create clothing that my friends would rock, that I would rock, and that, you know, we felt good about. What advice do you have for young women who aspire to be fashion designers or anything uh, like yourself? Be you. Be the best version of you. Believe in yourself when no one else will believe in you. Know that you have to be your best cheerleader, your best teacher, and your best advocate. Don't doubt yourself. Just believe in yourself. What's the future of Walk Aware? Wow. You know what? I don't know. I know what it is right now. I know what it is this year. But, you know, part of why I wanted to do Walk Aware again was to vibe with, you know, creative people like you. You know, I think that there's this disconnect in hip hop and it's between generations. And that's heartbreaking for me. You know what I mean? Because we could all learn something from right. each other. Um, and, you know, I hear a lot of older people say, oh, they generation, they millennials, this, this. That's not the right attitude either because how, there's so much that we have to learn from you guys. And then we have so many jewels to pass yes, on to yes, you. So wisdom. it's a give and take. Up, 
know you have a book coming up Absolutely. that you're about to release and you know it's get your ass off the couch that's right what better way to put it in your face than that right there you go we were just talking about just take that first step right that's exactly what this book is all about get your ass off the couch and move right moving the crowd and it's really a book that's aimed to inspire people to pursue their dreams their passion pursuit is it's going to be food for your soul just you can do this and this kind of talks about swinging with aim and taking that first step What's up, you guys? This is April Walker, and you're watching Her Source on The Source TV.